had travel insurance, but that only covered issues on her end, like death or illness. No coverage for cancellations. I'm very angry. In the meantime, she'll have to wait for her second chance to go on that trip in 2024. Aaron Gilchrist, NBC News. I'd be angry too. I've never been on a cruise, but <laughs> hearing their stories yeah. is just so upsetting. And, and the only time I've ever had to deal with anything overbooking, I was, I've, is when I fly standby. Of course, you're never guaranteed mm -hmm. a, a seat when you fly standby. But when it's like, no, sorry, you can't go on the plane. Like, yeah. Have to wait for the next one. But mm -hmm. to have to like shell out that much. Wow. And then just to be told, oh, you know, you've been waiting for this I... for the pandemic. What's a, what's another year? No, <laughs> another year. Not, I, I would not That's be a happy horrible. camper. No, wow. absolutely not. Yeah, oh especially you. You don't have the patience for anything. Really. You don't want to wait. So <laughs> no, I want to go. go? The, I'll, I'll, I'll get a rowboat out there and follow the ship if I have to. You're gonna row, row that boat. <laughs> I'm good for the arms. And <laughs> that is. Back. You guys, I have to say, the only cruise I've ever been on was on my family, but I honestly believe it was the best week of my entire life. Like, yeah. it was perfect. Well, so I highly recommend that you go. I mean, I want to, but I just want to, like, actually get on the boat. Mm -hmm. You know, if I paid well, for it. Well, you're asking for way too much. I, I guess. <laughs> Anytime you're with family, it's always the best experience. Yeah, you yes. don't worry about, like, driving anywhere, mm -hmm. about, like, language barriers. I mean, everything is taken care of for you. You just go and have fun. Ooh. Driving. I like to drive. I love <laughs> road trips. And Aww. I see if, if I have to go on a road trip, I'm the one that's driving. Yeah, with your music. Because I like to be in control. <laughs> There. So we're just a team of control <laughs> freaks. Oh, that's yeah. what it is. I can see that in every category with us. <laughs> <laughs> All of us. It's I'll do the driving. Ah. But going back to camping, right. you can plan for that. We're going to go to the beach. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. And then we'll set sail from the beach oh. after the camping trip and yeah. just to go to a, the a road trip after. Yeah. yeah. We'll we be this. out for the next couple of days yeah. while we plan this and, and just food. enjoy we'll ourselves. You got to do what you got to do. <laughs> right? Sounds like a good plan. Well, time is almost six. AM on this Monday morning and um, thank you for joining us. Joining us is our meteorologist Brian Still and our lifestyle host Daniel Banda, mm -hmm. Daisy Martinez and uh, Chris uh, Ramirez has a day off. But hey, you get the terrific trio, Yay. right? Uh, terrific name trio. still pending, but yes. Name still pending. No, I like it. We, we like it. <laughs> Two yeah. out of three. See, That's we right. Won. All capital T's. Oh, <laughs> all right. Sorry, you just clearly stuck with there. But you know what you can do? You can talk about the weather. I, I you know what? And that's where I do. You know, I win. What I say goes, yeah, right? That's and, right. And right now we are winning because we were tracking the threat of storms moving across the valley. Those thankfully moved south of us last night, well into Mexico. So we stayed pretty calm and we're still calm at the moment. High resolution radar.